Hey, what's up everyone? Derek from nerdordie.com here. And today I got a great video for you. First and foremost, everything I'm about to show you is free to use, free to download. And this is kind of a two part tutorial. So we're gonna show you how to set up a really nice social media kit for your stream or your content creation on things like YouTube and Twitter or excuse me, X, you know, all that good stuff. And then I'm also gonna give you a really quick tutorial on how to use Figma. If you're not familiar with Figma, don't worry. It's super easy to use. I wanna walk you through all the steps that you need to kind of know. And it's gonna be something great for you to have in your back pocket as a content creator or even just an aspiring designer. It's an amazing tool, something we're really happy to um, kind of use and be able to offer. So the first step is to head over to the website and go to the link in the description below. And what you'll do is you'll see these Figma templates. Now, basically, these are just templates that you can use in the program called Figma or the website called Figma. Uh, you can see we have a bunch of um, ones that we offer right now, like going live templates, a media kit, in case you kind of want to show off your stats to potential sponsors. Twitch panels, and then the new thing that we just added is all these social media kits with these different designs. So head on over, look through the designs, find one that you like. And once you find that, you'll wanna just go ahead and add this to the cart. And like I said, it's completely free from our website. And you'll basically go through a quick checkout process and that will give you the zip file here. And what you need to do once you have that is just extract it onto your computer what you do just hitting extract all and go into the folder here. So now you're going to see a couple of things. You'll see the kind of thumbnail here and some support links. But the important thing that you need to do here is actually set up a Figma account. So you will need an account to kind of use this program. Um, I think it's pretty reasonable for all that it has to offer. Also, if you use the link provided in the download, that will kind of give us a bit of credit as well. So we'd really appreciate the support on that. So once you have your account set up and you'll be kind of logged in and walk through a really simple tutorial, uh, you can follow that tutorial if you want, but uh, I'm going to walk you through everything specific to these particular downloads here. So the second step that you need to follow is just go ahead and open up the sticker bomb social media kit. So you can drag that into your browser. You can just double click it and then you're going to go ahead and hit open in Figma. So this will import everything to your own Figma account. That way you can edit it for whatever you need to use. So you're going to see a lot of stuff and I'm going to be honest. Don't worry. Don't don't think this is going to be too hard to use. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know. Um, at the top, we provided a lot of step by step kind of instructions for those of you that want a couple of pictures. But if you're watching this video, I'm just going to basically cover what's at the top here. So you can see we're going to have an, um, the availability for you to edit your avatar, modify your colors, update your socials and name, update some of the design elements, and then how you actually go through the export process to get these files. Um, and then you can kind of see here these little frames here. So we have a schedule, we have um, a larger schedule, the Twitch banner, an X banner, YouTube banner, some nice little um, URL kind of tags, and then even some really simple thumbnails with your avatar. So let's go ahead and just follow this step by step. The first thing that we're going to want to do is update the avatar, of course. So over here in the photo logo frame, we're just going to double click that. And once we do that, we're going to want to go over here on the right panel. This is usually where we're going to control individual elements inside of Figma. And for this particular one, you can kind of see a small thumbnail right here. We're just going to click this button called image. And then here we're going to click choose image. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the images that I have here already downloaded. And you'll see that already it will populate everything through and kind of send that over to everything, um, all the different frames that have this image available. So something important to know is any changes you make to this here will apply throughout this. And then we'll be able to kind of go in and individually edit and modify if you don't like the kind of look of how things are going. But before that, let's just follow everything in order through the instructions at the top. Okay, so second, we have the modifying colors, which of course is optional, just like any of these um, really. So what you wanna do is go over here on the right. You can kind of deselect if you don't see this exact, um, all these settings right here, but to deselect, you just click in a blank space and you'll see this section called local styles. And these are basically styles that we set up that will allow you to quickly and easily change the colors for all the different things here. So let's go ahead and just click this um, purple one and you'll see here this edit style button. We'll click that 
and then it has a property of a color that we're using. So once we click that, we'll be um, able to just go ahead. You can either enter in a hex code of your brand color. You can um, kind of drag it or a color drop from colors that are already used on the page, or you can use this to kind of pick what you like. I'm always um, partial to like darker designs and stuff. And I think that will look better with um, the kind of green that was in the avatar earlier. So you can go through here and you'll see that once I make that change once, it's updated in all these different frames. So uh, my best advice here would be to use something like the schedule one, focus on that, get your colors looking really good with just that one. And more than likely, you're gonna have your colors looking good for all the other ones. So we can make a couple of changes here. Like maybe we don't like this magenta and we'll see kind of how it changes throughout. And again, I'm gonna just go very, very basic here and just get something a bit darker just so it doesn't look terrible and hurt your guys' eyes uh, while we're kind of making these edits. And I think maybe the other thing I wanna edit here is this yellow. Maybe we'll make this like a bit more green or something to kind of complement the green, um, like maybe a blue or something like, yeah, let's, let's go with that. That's looking pretty okay. Now, again, don't hate me for not having preset colors planned out. I want to show you just how easy it is just to make uh, color changes on the fly and then just kind of feel things out and get kind of what, you know, you think looks good with your images as well, just in case you don't have brand colors yet as a new streamer. So, um, yeah, you can see here how we've set this all up. Very easy to just go through, make the changes, um, get everything working for you. And after that, uh, the other thing that you can do is update your name and socials. So this is a really cool part that we um, put a lot of work into. So, for example, you might be thinking, hey, uh, nerd, I don't like having this Twitch here because I want to advertise my kick or I want to advertise my YouTube. Well, good news. All you have to do is just quickly double click in here and um, you'll select the actual box here. So make sure that if you just double click um, or if you single click, it will only select this like whole section. But if you actually double click here, you see how it has this selection around the icon itself. Um, that's what you want to see. And then over here in the options again, this is something we set up is this nice drop down. So we'll usually say like Twitch or YouTube or kick, whatever you're changing. And you can click this drop down and you'll see here that it has all the different options kind of built in. So if you want to change it to X, you can do that or you can change it to all the other presets that we have set up. So that's just a nice little feature that we wanted to make sure you have. And before I get too far into things, you might have seen me kind of dragging around Figma and zooming in. And I want to explain how I do that. That way you guys can have the same capabilities that I have. So if you want to drag, what you actually do is you're going to hold spacebar and you'll see this little hand appear and then you can click and move and kind of drag around here. If you want to zoom out, the easiest way I do this is I use control plus mouse wheel up or down where down will zoom me out and up will zoom me in. But you can also use control plus and minus as well to do the same thing. It's just a little more aggressive. So personally, I like to use control and then the mouse wheel. So go ahead and play around with that. That way you can kind of navigate around and get the kind of feel for that. All right, now that we've actually updated some of the icons, let's talk about editing the text itself. And what you actually want to do is go in here and select the text, double click, and that will let you actually highlight the text and make changes to it directly in terms of what it, the content is inside of it. So let's type in nerd or die up here, and then we can go ahead, double click down here and say like Elden Ring DLC and you know, make a bunch of changes to your titles. Maybe you're like a GTA RP -er or something like that. And of course you can do that if you need to change any of your times and then your time zone as well. Maybe your audience isn't used to PST or you know EST or you're in a different country. So go ahead, update all that real quick and then you'll be able to export these, which is something I'll show you in just a little bit after we kind of talk about updating the design. And honestly, this is where it gets a little advanced. And I would say this last part is uh, pretty optional. If you find something that you just don't like or something you just want to tweak or make changes to, as I was saying earlier, you can actually go ahead and click the individual element and then you could edit it from here. So you can see how like I can actually manipulate this in here if I really wanted to for some reason. Um, you can even just single select it and kind of make 
kind of edits and changes to its actual layout. So if you're like, oh, I don't really like the way that's looked, maybe it needs to be wider, maybe it needs to be shorter. You can go ahead and just make changes to individual elements like that. So if you're like, oh, I don't like this being two pixels too high or something. So you can use the arrow keys to kind of bump it down. Um, you can hold shift while pressing arrow keys to move it a bit further. And you can really make changes and get exactly dialed into the look that you want. And maybe even you're like, ah, I don't like this at all. Boom, it's gone. And you know, move this one over, et cetera. And then the other cool thing about Figma is you can just drop in some of your own graphics. So if you have PNG files that I would um, likely recommend you use, you can go ahead and like move those around and place them as you need. Um, and then finally, the kind of last part here is if you've used something like Photoshop or something like that before, you'll see here that everything's kind of layered here on the left. So this is basically the hierarchy of everything. So like if you see here, I'm kind of the arrows hidden behind here. Um, and maybe that's not exactly what you want it to do. If I select that area and kind of drag it up, we'll see if it goes above what we need. And then you can even move it up in different groups and all that. Um, the higher you go up in this, the more on top it's going to be in your design. That way you can really dial in the, the look and feel. Something I want to mention um, in particular about YouTube is we made this thing called the visible area. And what we mean by that is YouTube, for some reason, lets your banners be ridiculously large. The actual recommendation uh, for them being exported is much bigger than what you typically see on a YouTube banner. So you won't actually see this kind of um, lighter area that says visible area, but we wanted to make sure you had an idea of what's going to be shown on your channel. So if we zoom in here, basically this section right here is going to be shown on the channel when people kind of click through it. But when you go ahead and export it, you're actually going to get this whole image without this lighter part on top of it. So we just wanted to kind of clear that up and make sure that you understood that when you're uh, making the changes. And then of course you can go through all these individual pieces and parts and update them and design them as you need and get the exact look that you're going for. Okay, so that's honestly everything that we need to give you for a quick Figma tutorial. There's a lot of great tutorials out there on Figma to really let you dial in this software, um, this website, the service, whatever you want to call it. It's such a great tool for uh, content creators to use because like I said, it's free for a lot of things um, and it'll really help you if you're just getting started, um, kind of be able to get uh, really nice looking graphics easily. So I highly recommend using it. So let's talk about the last part, which of course is exporting everything because of course this is no good if you don't have these individually available. So it's very easy. All that you need to do is go in here and just select the name of it. So if you see, I actually click the text called YouTube banner and it's going to kind of give you all these options on the right. To be honest, you don't really even need to worry about them. Uh, generally though, I do recommend PNG as your export type. So just double check that that's selected. And all you need to do is hit export and it will download it right away. And if you want to do it a different way, you can go up here when you have everything selected and go to file export. You can even export this to a PDF if you want to. And now you're probably thinking nerd or Derek, whatever you want to call me, how the heck do I get maybe all of these exported at once? So go ahead and select one, then hold down shift and select different ones here. So I'm going to just drag over here and hold shift. And now I have, oops, of course I messed that up. Hey, it happens to all of us. So go ahead and just reselect every frame here. And then we're going to do the export here. We're going to double check it's PNG and then hit export four layers. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to give you a zip folder here. So let's go ahead and open that up really quickly. And I'm going to go back to my downloads just to kind of show you what's going on here. So we can see here that we have a YouTube banner that's looking great. You can see here, like I said, it has the whole thing kind of loaded in. And then again, we've made this so the visible area is going to be kind of cropped nicely. And we have this zip file here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and unzip that and go on inside and we'll see we have the schedule, which is nice looking great. Um, we have the Twitch banner that you can upload. Oh, okay, let's, don't judge me. That does not look great. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Those color choices are not what I would go with normally. I am sorry on that one. And then of course the YouTube banner and the schedule large as well. So this schedule large is something we thought you would maybe wanna put on your stream or maybe tweet out something like that. And with that, that's 
everything you need to know for our new social media kits and our Figma templates. I really appreciate you guys checking that out. Please make sure to use that affiliate link in the download. And if you have some time, check out the rest of the website. There's all these awesome stream packs that we have available. For example, Synthwave has its own pack. So go on over to the shop, uh, check that out. A lot of these social media kits are based on um, packs that we have, like Sticker Bomb, I was kind of showcasing in that. So if you love that style, there's gonna be something for you. Um, it really helps us and supports us if you're able to pick up one of these packs. We pack in so many features, widgets, alerts, all that great stuff. So please check those out. And of course, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyways, I've been Derek with Nerd or Die. We will see you again later. Peace. <laughs>